How'd you get up there? Hey, buddy. What are you doing? That call kind of threw me off a bit when I first got it, because you don't hear about dogs on rooftops very often. Right away, I was like, all right, get me up on that roof. I'm just going to go straight up. Where did you come from? Hi. What are you doing, beautiful? Oh, my goodness. First, he came over, and he's real soft, and he's on the edge of the roof, and he's really happy. What are you doing on the roof? Huh? You're too excited. He's rolling over on the roof. I think the best way is if I get up and then try to lower him down over there. Okay, hold on, buddy. I'm coming up with you. I'm coming up here with you. Come here, buddy. Oh, stop. I thought, okay, let's see how he got up here. If I looked everywhere, I have no idea how he got up on the roof. No idea. Three or four different times he almost knocked me off the roof. He was so excited. He is really happy. Come here, come here. Okay, we're gonna get you down now, buddy, okay? I lowered him down. Good job, buddy. Good job. Do you love Andy? <laughs> It's one of those rescues where you feel like the dog knows what you did. <laughs> what are you doing? You're so happy to be down, buddy. Good job. <laughs> well, that was a, like, kind of a first for me. The dog didn't live there. It wasn't his house. It was a stray dog on somebody's roof. Come on, let's go. Come on. We transported him over to our trauma hospital. Nobody could figure out whose dog it was or why he was up there. He walked right in and everybody was like, all right, we love this guy. I was like, there's no way he's still at the pound. He's super cute. And they're like, oh no, he's still here. And so it went down and he was a very good little gentleman. I was like, all right, put him in the car, let's go home. He was very timid at first and he wanted to behave and just take things slow. Now he just absolutely rules this house. He is rowdy and rambunctious, and sometimes he wants to listen, sometimes he doesn't. You done with your puppy berserkers? He gets like, I call it the case of the wiggles. His tail just controls the entire body, and he's just this wiggling noodle running towards people. Are we happy with our stick selection for this walk? He's honestly more cuddly than any dog I've ever owned. He's just super lovable, and if you're doing something, he wants to be there. He's brought a lot of joy into my life, and he's just been comforting when I need him, and a goofball also when I need him. Like, comment, and subscribe.